Good morning, guys. So I don't know if you've been paying attention the last 24, 48 hours to this um, GameStop situation, but it's super interesting. And um, it really is just showing people this stark contrast. It's like we've been getting gamed for a long time. You know, it's kind of interesting. It just came to my mind. GameStop. The game stop. Okay? They're stopping the game. This is the end of the game for these elites. It's it's ironic that it happened with a company called GameStop. Oh, wow. That's cool. Anyway. Um, so... These hedge fund companies, parasitic, they're actually like the perfect example of what this system, what these system controllers are. They're parasites. They give nothing new. They offer nothing. They just take. And, um, you know, at least a company provide something, you know, a service. You may not agree with the company, you know, it might be a company you, you think has got bad practices and stuff. But even like Walmart, you know, Walmart sucks, right? I mean, it's a crappy company. It used to be good, it used to be made in America. Then they, you know, now it's like basically like China. And, um, but at least, you know, you go to the store, you buy some food, you buy some stuff you need there. I mean, they're providing a service at least, but these hedge funds are providing nothing. It's just, they're just taking and the system controllers have just been taking from us, just taking. They don't even need it. They don't even need any more. They already have so much, but they just do it on principle. They just take on principle. And um, this situation that's unfolding right now with the GameStop uh, is really amazing because I, I always thought that it would be, you know, people would see, oh, the, the, the satanic stuff, the pedophilia, the, the rituals, the ritual sacrifice, the, the Satanism. I thought that would be the thing that took these people down. But it's, you know, it's funny. It's going to be greed. What is their, what is their weakness? Their weakness is unbridled greed. They don't, like I said, it's almost like uh, you, you you take your fill, and then you just and then you just spoil the rest of it so no one else can have it. It's that kind of greed. It's it's um, you know they have enough. They just one of these uh, families. These you know the Rockefellers, the, the Carnegies, all these different the thirteen families they talk about. Just one of these families has enough money to to wipe out everybody's debt. Everybody could have everything they need. And, um, you know, we talk about, you know, I, I talk about the free energy systems they have. And, I mean, they won't be free. You're going to have to still build things and put things together. But once they're made, they make free energy. And um, I'm sure they'll require some kind of maintenance and things, too. But they have that technology and they're keeping that from us because they want to parasite. They're parasiting off of us. They're nothing. They've got nothing and they know it. And their, their house of cards is about to come down. Uh, this was a big deal. This is a big wake up call for people because when, you know, everybody, whether you're left or right, you know, whether you're uh, super conservative or whether you're a super liberal, everybody's got to make it in the world, right? We all have to buy bread. We all have to buy, groceries. We all have to, you know, pay for rent and pay for housing and pay for vehicles. We all, we're all in the same boat at the end of the day. We're really, honestly, we're not that far apart. And, um, this, this is like a, this like brings everybody to the same, we can all get in the same frequency on this, right? It's disgusting. It's grotesque what these people are doing. And, um, so I think it's amazing and um, it's the end of the game. This this could be the game stop for these elites. It's just it's just uh, it's interesting how it works out, right? God always gives us these uh, 
gives us a surprise. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a very this is a very good movie. I mean, it's got a lot of twists. It's got a lot of turns. It's got you know, it's been it's been emotional. It's been uh, exhilarating. It's been depressing. It's it's just got it all. And I think it's going to have a lot more before it's over. So um, that's about it. I was going to say some other stuff, but now I can't remember what it was. So I guess it wasn't important. Okay, guys, I love you. I hope you have a good day.